In this demonstration, we will review the purchase process. Purchase process also been referred as a procure to pay cycle. In order to meet the demands from customer, we need to purchase the goods from vendor in case if we do not have sufficient inventory. In this demonstration, we will review the purchase process in general and product demonstration for the same. It may start by requesting quotation from the vendor and converting request for quote into the purchase order. Request to purchase goods can either come from internal departments, for example for stationary items, in the form of purchase requisition, or it can come from the sales department or warehouse department to supply the goods to customer. Requesting the quotation is an optional step and we may create the we may confirm the purchase order directly to vendor. However, purchase requisition is discussed in a detail in a separate video tutorial, but it is good to review now to get overall picture of purchase process. Let us go through the business process simulation of the purchase process. In response to purchase request, whether it is coming from an internal department or from a sales department to purchase the goods to meet the customer demand. Purchase department can request quotation from multiple vendors. Based on the response received from the different vendors, we may compare these responses and choose the best vendor to confirm the purchase order against. Best vendor can be the vendor who offer the best deal for example best price or list delivery time. We may go through the several round of negotiations with vendor before finalizing the purchase order. We may place the purchase order directly to vendor instead of requesting quotation first if we have a trusted relationship vendor or it is an approved vendor. Vendor will supply the goods as per the agreed delivery date. We need to receive the goods and acknowledge the same to vendor. Once product delivery is confirmed, vendor will send the invoice for the goods delivered and we need to make a payment to vendor. Purchase order processing can be divided into four simple steps in Microsoft Dynamics X2012. Confirm, Register, Receive and Invoice. It starts with the confirming the order details with vendor. This is an important and mandatory step since this will avoid the possibility of any discrepancy or dispute later. Once we receive the goods from vendor, we need to register the goods in the system. For example, if we purchase the bicycle, we may need to register the serial and batch number of the bicycles we purchase. For example, vendor offers the guarantee and warranty on the bicycles we purchase from the vendor. And in that case, we have to register the serial and batch number in the system so that we can track the goods if required. Once product is registered, it becomes physically available in the warehouse. On successful registration of products, we acknowledge the vendor about product receipt and in return, vendor will send an invoice. As a last step, we need to make a payment to vendor. In product context, we need to invoice update the purchase order. Let us review the product demonstration for this purchase process. Uh, in order to create a request for quote, click on procurement and sourcing. Under the procurement and sourcing module, click on request for quotation field group under the common menu and then click on all requests for quotation. In order to create a new request for quotation, from the quotation action menu under the new group click on request for quotation. Here we have a three type of purchase type, purchase order, purchase agreement and purchase requisition. For now we will review the purchase order. Here you may set the expected delivery date for a vendor if you want to communicate the same and click on OK. There are few important field groups to review. One is the request for quotation header. It contains the header details about the quotation. Then request for quotation line. This section contains all the products or items which we want to request a quotation for from a vendor and then vendor fast step under the vendor fast step we add all vendors to which we want to request a quotation from we want to request a quotation for small size blue color bicycle so let's add them up bicycle it's a small size blue color and uh, expected delivery date is the 25th of july 
here we can say how many pieces we want let's say we want 10 pieces and if we want to communicate or demand any price from a vendor we can also specify that we say we want to receive this 10 pieces at the price of 125 euro each so the net amount is 1250 now let's add the vendor to whom we want to request a quotation from so click on add under the vendor first tab here you can select the different vendors let's say we want to we will add two vendors 1101 and 1102 after adding the vendor it is the time to send request for quotation from the quotation action menu click on send request for quotation and here the added vendors will automatically display we can also set up a printing settings and we can print the quotation and send it across to vendor via email but for now we will just send the quotation without printing it click on ok let us review the status for the request for quotation which we sent and we can see this is the request for quotation we just created and the lowest status and highest status is sent the lowest status is for example if we have a multiple lines multiple products we want to request a quotation from and uh, let's say for few products we have received the reply from vendor and uh, for few products we didn't receive then the highest status will be uh, received but lowest status will be sent so this is about the lowest status and this is about the highest status of the request for quotation so for now it has been said once we request a quotation from vendor after a specified period of time vendor will submit the quotation so we need to record the vendor reply in order to record reply from vendors under the quotation action menu under the replies group click on enter reply we can record the reply one by one first we will record the reply from vendor account 1101 let's enter a uh, information from a vendor here let's say this vendor is offering one piece of bicycle at 130 euros but delivering as requested that is the 25th of july in order to record the reply click on edit record from a maintained fast group and then we can enter the quantities and the price so we have received the price of one piece of 130 euro but it is on the same delivery date the requested delivery date is matching so we, we say reply delivery date is still 25th, 25th of july then we will record the reply for, an, for another vendor let's say 1102 is offering the goods at 125 euro per piece but delivering tomorrow so click on 1102 and click on enter reply and click on edit record to edit the lines one quantity at 125 euros but the delivery date under the quotation first step we need to set it to 26th of July so that will be delivered tomorrow after entering the replies we will compare the replies from different vendor and in order to compare the replies click on compare replies from a replies field group compare reply and here we can have a quick comparison between the vendor responses so we can see that 1101 is offering one piece of at 130 euro and 1102 is offering one piece is 125 euro and we can also say that delivery date from each vendor so that is 1101 is delivering on the 25th of july but charging five euros more than what we requested and 1102 is delivering one day later but giving the same price what we have requested 
So let's confirm the purchase order with 1102 for because of the better pricing. Then click on this vendor mark and then click on accept. In this dialog box, click on OK. And we can see that the purchase order have been created. Let us review the purchase order. So we converted request for quotation into a purchase order and now we can start processing the purchase order. Here we can say the information from the request for quotation have been copied here. So we are going to purchase one piece of bicycle at 125 euros. Let us process this purchase order. First and foremost step is to confirm the purchase order. Under the purchase action menu, click on confirm. After confirming the purchase order, we can see that the approval status for a purchase order has been set to confirm. After confirming the purchase order, if you want to print the confirmation from a journal's action menu, click on purchase order confirmation and from here you can print the confirmation. You can also send electronically or maybe preview and print. You can preview copy, original and other things. So once purchase order is confirmed, let us review the inventory transaction. So the receipt status is ordered because confirmation has no impact on the inventory transaction. We have ordered one piece of bicycle. Once it is confirmed, then after some time, vendor will call us back and inform that he is going to deliver the goods. So once we receive the deliveries from a vendor, we need to record it into the system. Uh, we can receive the products in a two step where we first register the product and then we confirm the receipt of product or we can directly record the receipt of product. Here we will first register and then we will update the product receipt. So in order to register the products, click on update line and then and from a process group, click on registration. Registration is a process where we assign a serial and batch number. So click on auto create and here we can assign a batch number and serial number supplied by the vendor. So let's say we create a new batch number B5 and this is the batch number what vendor has supplied. Assign it to here B5 and we can also create a new serial number view details and serial 01 we can assign serial number so these are the batch and serial number supplied by the vendor and since bicycle has a warranty and guarantee being offered by the vendor we have to track batch and serial number after entering the batch number and serial number click on post all and we can say the receipt status have been registered we can also review the status from inventory transactions the receipt status have been registered now once product is registered, it becomes available on hand. Then once product is registered, we have to confirm the product receipt. So in order to confirm product receipt, from a receive action menu, under the generate group, click on product receipt. And here you give a product receipt number, which may be a supplied by the vendor or you may record your internal product receipt number just to track the product receipt and uh, here we can review the information that we have received one piece of bicycle at 125 unit price and click on ok once product receipt is updated that inventory transaction status will be converted from registered to received as you can see And once we confirm the product receipt, in response to this, vendor will send us an invoice. So we need to now make a payment and close the purchase order. So in order to invoice update the purchase order, from an invoice action menu, click on invoice from a generate group. Uh, here we can give an invoice number, which may be supplied by the vendor. And here we can give the date 
on which we posting the invoice so that is a 25th of in order to invoice update from a vendor invoice action menu under the actions group click on post and then click post as soon as we invoice update the purchase order the receipt status will become purchase let us review the inventory transactions as we can see the receipt have been purchased and we have successfully made a payment to vendor so in this video we created a request for quotation we sent reply to multiple vendors based on their response we chose the best vendor because it has offered the best price or price as we requested but maybe a little higher delivery time but that was okay for us so we just confirmed the purchase order against him and after creating a converting a purchase order we confirm the purchase order details we register the inventory we receive the products and then we finally invoice update the purchase order thank you thank you for watching this video